lot of people have been asking for various ways to test how much ABV they have in their brews. And one of the things that's come up is one of these. Now this is not a specific gravity refractometer. This is an alcohol refractometer. The measurements inside say zero to 80% alcohol. Forgive me for being a little dubious. Let's just say we had a bad experience. Well, right off the bat, the box broke already. Oh no. Yeah, it's just the latch. It comes off apparently. See, it snaps back on. It's okay. It is a really nice unit. It's, you know, it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's a lot like most of the others that we've tried. It is ATC brand, um, comes with the adjustment screwdriver. I calibrated this just so you know, it actually was slightly out of calibration, not by much, two points or so. And it comes with a pipette and all that kind of stuff. Actually, no, it doesn't. This is my pipette. You put a pipette. Put now a, I have two pipettes. Now I have two pipettes because I put one in here the other day. So, Needless to say, I have already tested this a bit, so thus the dubiousness. However, people have asked, so we're going to go through and do it. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna test water. This is just distilled water, should read zero. So, a few drops on the lens thing, whatever you wanna call it, the reader. Make sure that there's no air pockets, that's the, that's the trick. I gotta take my glasses off, I can never do these with glasses on. And, what do you know? It reads, well, it, it's actually slightly off calibration again, which that's not a good sign. I just did this last week. And this is how you calibrate it. Distilled water, and you adjust that screw up or down until it reads zero. Boom, calibrated. Tigger is in needy mode today. Kind of getting a little irritating actually. Okay, so the first thing, let's test some whiskey. And this just isn't any old whiskey, no. This is Wild Turkey 101. Yes. So this should read 50.5% because it's 101 proof. You knew that, right? That proof and percent. Do you need a little... I'm going to try to get through the thing. I don't want to waste any of this. Oh, I think I got enough. <laughs> yeah, just a few drops. A little for me. Okay, and we got that sealed up. And, uh, I don't know, they're lying to us. It's only reading 48%. To me, I'm gonna call that close enough. I'm kind of okay with that. Are spirits allowed the 2% like wine and everything? I don't know. I actually don't know what the rule is for that. So they may have like somewhat of a, a not, leeway it's limit. It's not 2%, it's two points. Yeah. I said it wrong. Two points, yeah. Two points. What she's talking about is like with wine, if it says 12, it could be anywhere from 11 to 13 on the bottle. And the government is okay with that. Yeah, because that's considered okay. It's within the range. So, All right, so next up is our Blackbriar Mead. We had estimated this at 12.4%. And something important too is sugars. That may alter the way it reads it. This one is 1.004 final gravity. So it's very low in sugars. So it should be a better thing for it to test, but 12.4%, let's find out. I get all these free samples today. Okay, um, it's a very hazy line, but this one is reading 24%. 24. Yeah. Wow, uh, that'd be neat. Yeah, that, that's a neat <laughs> trick. A neat at 24% without fortification. <laughs> so you'll pardon my dubiousness that I had before, but this is the kind of results I was getting. Okay, next. This is leftover step feed mead, which should be 17%. Yeah, so this one's a higher percentage. Hopefully, that higher percentage helps it to be more accurate. By the way, in case you're curious, I did switch these in between, so I wasn't using the one with the whiskey on it to do this. Um, and now I just cleaned it out, so grab a sample. That's good. I like that one. And, oh, wow, this is even better. This one reads 40%. Woo! Wow, we <laughs> make some powerful mead. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, we got one more. <laughs> this is the... the Acer Methacyserglin. Methis, yeah, say that. Like I don't know what the final gravity on this one was, but I think it was pretty sweet. And this one says 15.4%. So let's see. Is it really 15.4%? Yep. Whoop. Uh, 26%. So 
There isn't even a rhyme or reason to how far off it is. I think it's just not really meant for this kind of thing. What it is meant for is spirits. So a lot of people have been asking. I just wanted to show you guys that this does not actually work. I've told several people along the way, but it is advertised as zero to 80 percent. I'm really not sure how they can make that claim because no, it, it really doesn't work. Anything below, I would say 30%, this is going to be vastly inaccurate. So I was going to send it back because I ordered it because someone told me about it and I said, okay, I'll give it a try. I was going to send it back, but I think making a video on it is a far better thing to do. We will not be putting a link to this product in the description because I really don't want you to go and buy it. Instead, we just wanted to warn you that this is not going to tell you the ABV of your brews. If you want to know how to do that, you need a regular hydrometer and take beginning and ending readings, or in a pinch, a hydrometer and refractometer and this other video that we're going to link to. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.